So you are not allowed to pray as if this is the devil's kingdom. You are not allowed to pray from a posture of defeat. You are not allowed to pray like this is an uphill battle. It's not allowed. So God would teach us to pray, thy kingdom come. And we get to recognize the kingdom of God certainly comes by itself without our prayer, but we pray in this petition that it would come to us also. And we can recognize that God's kingdom comes when our heavenly father gives us his Holy Spirit so that we uh, believe his word and lead godly lives according to it here in time and there in eternity. You see, uh, God's kingdom is wherever the king is. And the king is not simply ruling in power, but in mercy. Uh, we're not allowed to pray. You're not allowed to pray from a posture of defeat because God's word is here for you. It is, is, it is promising forgiveness, life, and salvation. You are not allowed to pray as if the devil is ruling down here because if the devil were ruling down here, you wouldn't be praying at all. You wouldn't believe. That's actually the thing that the devil wants. He doesn't just want the other political party to win or grandma to have cancer or you to have anxiety. The devil wants you to not have faith. And you get to recognize God's kingdom is already going to come wherever it needs to be because Jesus makes himself known among sinners. Jesus is incarnate. He, he takes on flesh. He comes into this world. He doesn't stay up in heaven, but heaven comes down to earth because heaven is wherever Jesus is. And that, that, that's the definition of heaven. Heaven is not a cloud. Heaven is wherever Jesus is. And so if Jesus makes himself present on earth, heaven comes down to earth. And so when we pray, thy kingdom come, we're not allowed to pray as if Jesus wouldn't show up down here. You're not allowed to pray as if the devil won. Christ was crucified. Your sins are forgiven. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And so when you pray, you must pray from a posture of victory. You must pray, recognizing that uh, here you have already been given God's word. And, and our prayer is simply that in the midst of all of these things, help me to lead a godly life, not simply by uh, walking according to the law, but by taking all the places I didn't to Jesus so that I might be made uh well, into something godly. That is something holy. That is something forgiven. Uh, we pray from a posture of victory, never from a posture of fear. We, we pray not as if if we don't do this right or don't do this enough, it, it won't be. And that's because of the devil. We pray as if Christ has already conquered the devil and all the things that we're afraid of have come undone when Christ cried, it is finished. And so whether we see it or not in this world, we know, we believe, we have faith and, and we can recognize God's kingdom has come. And so everything is going to be okay.